Hello my creative friends, Olga Sobi from Smart Art Materials here and first of all I would like to thank everyone who has accepted Sam June challenge paint kiss from their previous video. I was so happy to see all of your results already and looking forward to see a lot more. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, we have a pouring challenge happening and I'm going to include all the details in the description of this video, so check it out. So today, in this video, I'm going to do one more paint kiss following the guidelines from the challenge. But I'm going to use totally different colors and I just want to show you the different possibilities of this technique and the way different colors can totally change the outcome. So, let's get started. So for my two cups today, I have a lot of purples and violet shades and some golden and warm yellow colors. And I'm going to do the purple cup first. And my first color is um, it's this dioxidine purple. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's actually heavy body paint by Liquitex. And I do not recommend you to use heavy body color for pouring, but if you have it from uh, previous painting like I do, there is a way to mix it up to a nice pouring consistency. And in the description of the video I'm going to give you a couple tips on how to do that. So my second color, it's a very beautiful color, I really like it. It's a Quinacridone Magenta, Quinacridone. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna write it down, this is how it looks. Also a heavy body color, but again, I mixed it up to a nice, smooth consistency. My next color is purple, and it's a metallic purple by Artist Loft. I have never used this color before. It doesn't look very metallic-y when wet, but it's supposed to look kind of nice when dry. And between the layers, I want to add a touch of titanium white, just to mix it up a little. This color is, uh, okay, I can't remember the name of this color. I think it was a Deep Magenta by Liquitex Basics. I can't remember it now, but I'll write it out in the description for you guys. And the last one is just the purple by Saks Acrylics. A lot of different shades of purple and violet, and I'm finishing it up with some white. All right, now the warm cup. So I'm going to start with some gold and I want to make this cup basically gold with uh, different tints of other colors. So I'm starting with gold. My next color is golden yellow by Saks Acrylics. I really like this color. I think it looks very good with yellow, with gold, when you uh, put them side by side. Touch of white between the layers. Next color, What's the name of it? Sort of a beige color by Sargent. Can't remember really the name, but it's also very nice, very soft color. I think it also works well along with gold. I want to add a touch of orange just to warm it up a little, make it a bit bright, a little brighter. And again, some gold. A lot of gold. I want this cup to be very gold. Very metallic -y. And again, finish it up with white. Okay, my cups are ready. Oh, I made them super full this time and I'm ready for the pour. Alrighty, so today I'm working on a 16 by 16 square canvas and I'm really looking forward to see how the paint kiss turns out on a large canvas. According to the challenge, I'm starting with a base, with a white base. And I'm using titanium white for that. And as always, just with my spatula, move it in all around. I think it looks good. Let's do the kiss. 
My cups are so full this time. Ugh. I really hope that it's going to work good. And kiss. So I'm using a two ounce cups. I have an article on my website where I share tips on how to do the paint kiss technique the most effectively. I'm going to also link it in the description. And if you have never done a paint kiss before, definitely check it out. See, I stopped the kiss and then I go back to it. And this is how I got some purple on my golden side. I want to do this one more time. So I stop and go back to kiss again. Oh my god, this purple is looks almost like black. Oh. I hope it's going to look good when it's when I stretch it. It would probably look good with a white color. Should have put it next to white. Okay, well, there is no way to reverse it and see what we can do out of this now. Okay, so next I'm going to torch it to get some cells. So then when I tilt it, I stretch those cells. And I did not add any, any silicone to my paint. So all the cells, this is just air in the paint and it comes out as I torch it. I think this is good enough. So another condition for the challenge is to leave some negative space. So making sure to do that. Well, as those cells get stretched, they look really cool. Oh, very nice. I really like the purple side and the golden side looks kind of uh, boring. So I'm gonna tilt it a bit more. This purple looks like black. And if I was to put it here, it would mix with some white and it would be beautiful. So this is what I should do for my next paint kiss. I'm not very happy with this side as much as I like this one. I want to tilt it a little more. I don't know, maybe I'm going to regret it. But yes, I'm going to do that. Okay, now I like it better. Oh, thank God. I'm going to torch it a little more. I want to get some of those tiny baby cells. And I'm going to probably stop. OK, 
Okay, no, I'm not going to stop. There is one more thing I want to do. I want to make those uh, edges a bit more um, not so sharp. All right, guys, I'm going to stop right now. Uh, I will show you a couple close-ups because there is a lot of details, a lot going on, and I want you to see all these beautiful cells and rings. And yeah, I'm looking forward to see more of your paint kisses. Don't forget to add hashtag SamJuneChallenge so I can find them all. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.